Now let's work on dividing monomials. And here we have question number one. I'm feeling ambitious today, so we're going to do four questions in one video. So negative 8x squared over 4x to the power of 5. So 8 over 4, I can just simplify into 2, because I can divide the top by 4, so we get 8 divided by 4, 2, and 4 divided by 4, 1. So we get just a negative 2. Now x squared over x to the power of 5. What I can do is that I can just subtract exponents because we're dividing. So if you're dividing items with the same base, you can just div uh, sorry subtract the exponents. So 2 minus 5. All over, just 1 for now. So here we're going to have negative 2 x to the power of 2 minus 5, negative 3 over 1. But I don't want a negative exponent. So what I'm going to do is that I'll make it positive by sending the x down to the denominator. So we're going to have negative 2 over 1 times x cubed. So these are perfectly equivalent. The negative 2x to the negative 3 and the negative 2 over x cubed. Let me just rewrite this to make it look somewhat neater. That's not too bad. There we go. So that is the answer to 1. How about 2? So we have 3m cubed over 9m to the power of 4. So the 3 and the 9, I can just divide them both by 3, and I'll have 1 over 3. Great. Now, I'll just take a slightly different approach to this question, just to show it in a different way compared to the previous. Let me write all m's down. So we have m cubed, which is just m times m times m, over m to the power of 4, which is, well, just 4m's being multiplied. Then we can cancel all of these out. And we're only left with 1m in the denominator. So we have 1 over 3m. There we go. And question 3. So we have 7a to the power of 4 over negative 14a to the power of 3, or a cubed. Okay, so 7 over 14 is just 1 half. But since we have 1 over negative 14, sorry, uh, we had 7 over negative 14, that would be negative half. And 8 to the power of 4 over a cubed, I can just change that into 8 to the power of 4 minus 3. So we're going to get negative 1. 8 to the 4, 4 minus 3 is just 1, so that is just 8 over 2. So that's equivalent to just negative a over 2. Or negative half a, same thing. And make a note of that actually. That's equal to negative half a. Great. How about question 4? 15x to the 7 over 35x to the 8. Okay, so 15 over, over 35. I can divide top and bottom by 3, or sorry, by 5. And that's 3. Let's jump in the gun here. So yeah, 15 divided by 5, 3. And 35 divided by 5 is 7. And then we have x to the power of 7 minus 8. Because since we're dividing, we can just subtract the exponents. And we're going to get x to the power of negative 1. So 7 minus 8, negative 1. And of course, now I can just send the x down to the denominator. And we have 3 over 7x. So that's it. 